Now for exercise six, which is the CIS benchmarks, we've been asked to um, open to execute six, 10 CIS benchmarks from the benchmark document. And we'll be using the one for Ubuntu. So we're going to execute some commands. I'll show you how to do it and how to interpret it. So first I'll clear this screen. And you will have to go to the CIS benchmark website to download your, your own copy of the CIS benchmarks. So I'll be using the one from the one for Ubuntu, and I'll be showing you. I'll be starting with a very good example. So when you're going through the benchmarks, So this first one says disable unused file systems. So I'm going to so I have to zoom out. All right. So for this one, it says ensure mounting of this file system is disabled. Now, the first thing we want to do is in the audit section, they have given a command to run, which is this command. And it says that when you run this command, this should be displayed. And when you run this command, you shouldn't see any output. So we're going to do that. So I'll run this command. Go to the terminal, paste it, and run it. So this is definitely not working as it should. Fatal Moodle Kramer is not found in directory. Right, so this isn't there, and it's not the exact output that we should have. So what we should do now is run the second one. So this second one is okay, but the first one is not okay. So first thing we want to do is to create a file in this. So we're supposed to create this file. So let's see, nano. I think I'd rather use sudo nano. Paste this. And then copy this and paste it in, save. Now that has been saved, what is the next step? So the next step says to run this command. Okay. Right, so now let's go back and rerun this one again. Let's rerun this command again. Make sure that it's displaying as it should. Right, now we are fine. So you see now that the first command displays fine. And if we run the second one, it is also as it should be. So we have successfully done the first CIS benchmark. So there are other CIS bench, benchmarks as well. Just remember that the first thing you should do is run the, the code that is in the audit first, and then it should return exactly what you're seeing here as the output. Then run the second one, and it should return whatever output is supposed to return. If there's no output, then you shouldn't see any output. Whichever, or whatever the case may be, if it's against, if if it doesn't give you the output that is here in the audit, then it means you need to follow the steps in the remediation to fix that particular benchmark. Once you have done that, then you can itemize all of the benchmarks that you did inside of your exercise readme file and push it to GitHub.